In this lesson, we're gonna study about how to make the family by the making the uniform. To make a structure with RC reinforced concrete, formwork is prior to placing steel bar. In mat foundation, formwork should be done along the boundary of the foundation. For elevator pit, form should be installed inside of the pit. Planning for the form is the most important among all of planning for temporary works. First of all, shape and type of form should be chosen. Depending on the scale of project and the situation, type of form is chosen between conventional formwork system or engineer formwork system. Planning for forms include volume of concrete and method of supporting riba. This is why planning for form is the important factor in pouring concrete. When the building is observed, only RC structure removal form is shown, and it's hard to know what is the formwork. That's the reason to regard formwork as meaningless, but planning for form is very important. Before installing the form, let's create the family of form. Let's make the broadly used form uniform. This would help making other form like gang form or aluminum form. At the left of the top menu, click New, Family, and select the Revit Family template file named Son Giban Ilban Model. Green line would be a reference for making a series of unit. And dimension would be set with parameter. First, check the specification of formworks. This is the normal euro form. Based on an image of it, create a model with representative standard size. Then I modify this family by adding the parameter properties. First, click Extrusion. The form model should be created based on the standard, so I would use value in this table. Width is 600 and thickness is 10. After the extrusion is created, go to the 3D view, and the bottom side of the sheet would up here. Then go to the elevation view and modify the height of this model. Go to property tab on left and modify value of extrusion end as 1200. Next, constraint should be added. If constraint is a model in specific assets you choose, drag this gumball up and down to this axis. And loop this gumball to create constraints. Then parameter would be set on this sheet. Enter D, I to input dimensions. And create a new parameter to label the dimension with this parameter. In the top menu, create a new parameter and name it H. Select the instance and click OK. And examine the parameter if it works well. If I modify parameter H as 900, it surely works well. Create another parameter W, so a unit of the form is completed. In addition, the actual shape of the form has to be constructed. In the top menu, click Draw, Extrusion, and create the exterior line of form. Offset this line by 5. Then 
in flame view makes constraints of the width face of the sheet. Then modify extrusion end as 50. In this state, both lines should be set with a parameter. Create a parameter entered di, having a thickness of the frame and use lock for maintaining dimension of the thickness. Regardless of the modification on the frame, diameter would be not changed. Make the stud of the frame. Make a representative extrusion and duplicate it to create the rest. Based on this line, make two option line from it with distance 2.5. After this, Make a close loop by drawing between these lines. And remove all of useless object. Go to the floor view and make constraints like this. Extrude the opposite line with width of the frame and make a constraint again. In the 3D view, the stud would be modified within the constraint. Go to the rear view and constraints the thickness of the stud. Another way is using the array tool. Even though width and height of the model are modified, array members don't require further parameters as they modify themselves. From now, I would use the array tool on this representative of the stud. Make constraints on the thickness of the stud and duplicate to 3 at regular intervals. And create a parameter with the number of arrangements. So the array would be modified parametrically. Look on the number of stud or on the number of the interval between stud should be determined. I would lock the number of the interval only. The number of stud is 3. If I modify the number as h divided by 300 and the number of stud is parametrically to the value of parameter h. To set the parameter with more detail, each interval between stud or frame should be set as parameter and make a function with these parameters. This time, uh, let's draw vertical stud. Create a representative vertical stud. Go to the plan view and modify the width of the vertical stud equal to other stud. Then make constraint. Go to the rear view and duplicate the vertical stud at the bottom. Make constraints on every edge. Let's make the parameter in order to place this vertical stud always in the middle of the frame. Input the dimension like this and make another parameter. The position of the vertical studs are always centered, so make the result of this parameter to this function. Go to 3D view and take a look. LS apply materials to all the elements in this model. Go to material library at the bottom and select the material plastic sheet navy. Then change the name. In this dialog, on the right change the color by clicking shape color and selecting yellow. In the bottom tab, click visual style consistent color. 
in Korean, 색상일치. Then apply the yellow material to the other parts of the frame. Then apply another material to the sheet. Browse the wood material in the material library and apply to it. So, drawing of the unit of uniform is done and make this model as the group. Modify the length of the green reference line in of as 3000. Next, select the group and enter A, R, then duplicate the group to 3. This array of 3 groups also should be parametric. Make a new parameter and modify the value as a function. Length divided by W. So as the length is modified, the number of the panel would be modified parametrically. So modeling of uniform is complete. Finally, organize all the parameter with list. Parameter for variable would be arranged at the top of the list. And constant parameter would be arranged at the bottom. So this is how to create a family. Then save this family and place it on the Revit project. Let's draw a line in this plan and the uniforms are installed well. Next time, let's progress this project using this uniform model.